Welcome people to the World Wide Web and here we have the Modern Collector Mighty Ducks episode 2. So you know there's, we've got a bit of steam going, obviously I understand there's not many people seeing this channel so it's, it's taking a little while to build up some, but hopefully you know you're enjoying it and coming along for the ride. So obviously in this video, um, the Modern Collector, it's a series, what I do is I basically take an account of the time and the money it takes to collect a new wave and that new wave is the Mighty Ducks. So currently we had, uh, I'll put the current time and money there just to show you what it was before this episode and we've had some new pickups so we'll take you into episode two. So first things first. So from a, uh, from a person on Facebook, I managed to pick up this guy. So this is Bazooka Grin. Um, he is mostly complete. Um, unfortunately I have had a few issues with this. So. I was told it was complete except for his missile. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. He is also missing his roller skates. Wah, wah, wah. Um, this is something you will learn, most collectors will. People will say it's complete. I have gone back to him and stated that he overlooked it. The person doesn't seem to care. That's by the by, you know. Um, if it was me, I mean, I'm not asking for necessarily money back, but I'm just trying, you know, I'm. When you're collecting something, you don't really know it's complete, and it really helps if maybe people are a little bit are up front. So yeah, so he's there. He cost me eighteen eighty five. Um, so we'll add that into the pot at the end. So I mean, if he was have his skates, he was only missing that. So I'll be really happy with that. The fact he's missing skates, they're gonna be a, and they're roller skates, not the blades, which I haven't seen any on Facebook. So I think this is gonna be a bit of a pain. Um. A pain to have this one fully complete unless I buy a complete version and then sell this one on. Um, if that's the case, I'm not gonna. That won't affect the total. I won't take that cost out. That will just be a, a le lesson learned, so to speak. So there we go. So good. But at the end of the day, he goes with the previous two. So that's three characters out of twenty-seven. So we we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. So next thing, the first vehicle. Uh, this is the duck cycle. So this is almost complete and I knew it was mostly complete by consider. So it has two little feathers, one that goes on either side and he has four discs that sit in here, if I can get that right. He only came with three. Not too fussed about mission of disc. Feathers, again, something I've not seen for sale, but I mean, to be honest, from the grand scheme of things, you know, it's in really good condition. There ain't many marks on it anywhere. Um, this clip is a little bit loose here. I don't know if this has a function or not. But apart from that, yeah, it's, it's I mean, it has a function why it's got this air that rolls and it shoots the discs out here, which is why. So yeah, so good to have this one. The vehicles are gonna be expensive and obviously I'll just put a Facebook clip up there. Bong, that's how much I paid for this one, so a little bit pricey in comparison that price is nowhere near what it has gone for um, if you look at box versions of stuff they're really expensive and I, in, as I said in this series I'm an out of box collector and I don't really plan to get stuff in box if I can but I will come to a little bit of that in a second so yeah so that's two so one vehicle down two to go and obviously 24 figures so we are getting there so the last pick up of this collection is Mallory. So I will put a little bong up there so you can see how much I paid for that. So luckily uh, I was looking at this, look at Mallory does seem to be a hard one to come by in her normal costume. And this is one of the um, extreme battle ducks. So this is one of the later waves. I want to say maybe two or three. Um, but yeah, happy to have her in the collection. Um, so she is coming out of the box, um, but she is complete, obviously. And, and one thing I found with um, the Double Dragon line that you may have seen in, in another video, and this is it, it's really hard sometimes online to find out if they're complete, they're not complete unless you buy them like this, because it hasn't it. But one thing I've never appreciated, which I definitely have now, is this. So you buy this, it features the whole wave, so you see the duck cycle is there, and it has all the characters and how complete they are. Obviously, Siege we already have from this line as well, and obviously we only missed the boulder. Um, 
But what I plan to do now to add it is every character that I have from this wave, I'm going to keep this card. Um, I'm just going to keep the Mallory one for now. I might keep it if, if the artwork is better on some of the other ones. But it means when I'm looking for any of the figures in this line, I now have vis pictures to reference them complete so I know exactly all the accessories. And this is something that's a really, you know, really good thing to look out for if you're a collector because say you look online and the images are so conflicting between one to another and as I say the issues that I've had with Grin um, as I say I did contact Seller and they were like well I do have some with skates and without skates and I'm like well if you look at the figure on his feet he has ports there for skates to go on they wouldn't do that if he didn't wasn't meant to have skates so I, as far as I'm aware I mean you, if, you, if I'm wrong in the comments please do let me know so yeah, so that was her. So that's another figure. So we have four figures now, so 23 to go on one thing. So we've, we're doing quite well. I think, as I said, I plan to run about a year to get everything, and hopefully that's the case. So I will put it there, the total time and money so far. So, you know, we're going on, I mean, as I say, the vehicles are quite expensive in comparison to the other stuff, and if I get bundles on, I, I'm thinking maybe the 500 mark we should get everything for, which is, is a fairly reason for it. 27 figures and three vehicles, you know, 30 things for a wave day is quite good. Um, I've seen Builder Channel, as you all know, and you can see behind me pictures. I did offer up a picture up. No one's commented, so that's fine. So as I said, so, this, so we're rolling it over. So this is Grin, so a little bit closer up of the picture. So this could be yours. Um, all you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe to this video. If you do all that, when the next lot of figures comes in, I will have a look at the comments, and the best one will get this prize. I will then send it out to you for free. Um, all I need is a name and address. So, you know, if not, we will keep this or we'll swap the picture out and we'll offer another one up. Or they'll just be placeholders. But yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Modern Collector Mighty Ducks episode 2. Obviously, thank you for joining me in this little challenge. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying it. Uh, say any suggestions again, you can also put them in the comments. I do appreciate it. Um, feedback, you know, that's how this uh, series is, and this channel has kind of come about of comments and stuff. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm Cypher Sigma signing out. See you next one.